Peach Patch, lesson number one. Do not cook your food this fast. Turn your owl down. Y'all love learning from her, and she teaching y'all all all wrong. Not even probably purposely trying to teach you. But every time she show us a video of her cooking, everything is burning. It's cooking too fast. Peach, slow your ass down. The casino ain't going nowhere. Because I don't know if you're trying to hurry up so you can go sit down. You don't want to cook because you're depressed. you in a slump. you in a funk. I get it. I had them days too. Or you trying to get out that door. I don't understand. And the fact that you can't even get your man up, that's why you got to prepare ahead of time to make sure you got everything before you get to run the streets and doing whatever. Or he get to run the streets because by the time he get in, it's late. Yeah, he going to sleep. I don't blame him. I ain't going to get up either. Dog tired, boss. Um, so... Make sure before y'all both hit them streets and do everything that your list is checked, your D, your T's is crossed, and your I's is dotted, and you have to go through this stuff. And you look like you so miserable that you had to go to the store. Yeah, you stated that you didn't want to go. You didn't want to get yourself together. So you mean tell me it took for you to move from Tampa to for it to dawn on you that it's not cool or for you to care if somebody see you looking like that? Because you didn't care in Tampa, but wherever you move to, it's people around that could have access to see you in your building because it looks like you live in a big building with multi-apartments and you don't want them to see you like that. I mean, that's a good thing. You should care. But why did it take for you to move from Tampa? Why didn't you just care, period? You know, care what the kids' friends may say or their peers may say or, you know, just for you to feel good, you know? I mean, I don't be trying to get all jazzy and uh, to the nines going to no corner store myself. But I still ain't going to go out there looking like no any damn thing. You know, I'd rather keep my hair cut. I don't know why you just don't cut your hair, girl. Just keep it cut real low. And I ain't saying short, short like mine. But keep it cut low, but just enough where you can see the curls pop and have a little taper. You know what I'm saying? On the sides. You know what I'm saying? Keep a little color in it. And your earrings and your lip gloss. You'll be fine, girl. Because you don't like doing hair. You don't can't get nobody to do your wigs on a regular basis. You know, you'll save a lot of money. And then, speaking of money, weren't you just out here gouging down all this different food and showing all this different food that you was buying and telling us how much it costs, and now you sitting here acting like you broke again and having these classes and stuff like that? That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you spend your money more wisely? Save it. If you're going to splurge every time you get your check, just take a day. Out of each check you get, take a day. You know what I'm saying? Take that weekend and y'all splurge and do that, and then just be done with it. Don't do it like out of every check you get five, six days in a row, y'all getting down on all this food and, and spending anywhere from $100 and up each time you go to the restaurant. That's ridiculous. You will have some money if you just put that to the side. You got to do it in moderation and in order. And then buy this food that you like and cook it with the fire turned down. Stop cooking every damn thing so fast. What is you rushing for? Act like you can stuff. Turn on your little uh, tripod or whatever and take a deep breath and just... Cook, relax, have a glass of wine.